Joining us to analyze which ads have been working this campaign so far and which have not been is GOP pollster Frank Luntz, president and CEO of Luntz Global. Good morning to you, Good Frank. Morning. Well, boy, we know some of the ads have been uh, successful here uh, in Iowa because Newt Gingrich, who, of course, was riding high in the polls, has had a spectacular crash in the last couple of weeks. I want us to talk about one of the first ones. Ron Paul, and even Governor Brandstand talked about this particular mm -hmm. ad. Ron Paul running against Newt Gingrich. Let's watch a little bit of it. And then talk about it. Newt Gingrich on the defense for taking one and a half million bucks. After he left Congress, Freddie Mac paid Gingrich at least $1.6 million. $1.6 million, some of it just before the housing market collapsed. It's a think tank founded by That's the voice of our own Jan Crawford uh, in there. What do those dials mean? Why was that ad successful? We test all these ads on a second-by-second -second basis. They use a, a remote control and they turn it up or down based on whether they are influenced or not. That was one of the most powerful because it shows Gingrich at its worst. It, it makes him a Washington insider, which is exactly what Republicans don't want. And I don't necessarily agree with Joe Klein about the wealth of the candidate hurting Mitt Romney. What these voters are looking for is consistency and predictability which is why Gingrich got hurt in that ad, and Mitt Romney was also attacked by the Obama campaign, and he got hurt for consistency. You talk about Mitt Romney being attacked for consistency. The DNC, the Democratic National Committee, they didn't even have to spend any money. They just put this thing up online, and then all of the free media, which is that people like us pick up that ad and show it like we're about to right now, and it starts to get into the conversation. Let's watch part of that. I have never supported the President's Recovery Act, all right, the stimulus. No time, nowhere, no how. Uh, I think there is need for economic stimulus. You're only allowed a certain number of flips before people begin to doubt your character. And that was a devastating ad because they said, of course, it was two men trapped in one body, right? And it made people laugh, which is one yeah. of the keys of negative advertising is that it can't make you angry at the people who ran it. You want to make it angry at the candidate. But Romney's also been attacking Barack Obama, and that's one of the reasons why he has actually done so well nationwide. He's gone ahead of Gingrich in most surveys. It's because he's trying to bring the campaign to the Democrats, which is the second thing that caucus voters want, someone who can beat Barack Obama. Well, you seem to be really teeing up all of these ads perfectly, because <laughs> that's exactly right. You talk about sort of Romney. Romney has had this strategy. I mean, he is sort of not spending too much time uh, against the other Republican candidates, but trying to early on focus his message on Obama. Here's another clip from his ads. I'm an American. 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 <laughs> Not a bump in the road. What is that ad about? It's trying to use the voices of people. And one of the hardest things in the campaign right now is credibility. Nobody trusts anything from anyone. And so you've got to use real people, real voices, real opinions. The language some of the ads have not worked because it's come across as manufactured. If you feel like you came in a television studio, if someone put it together, just slapped it, it's not going to be effective. You've got to have a, an authentic, genuine message. Mm -hmm. So who's going to win? In this case, I agree with all of you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, I, I, I'm not afraid to make predictions. This time, no way. It could be any one of three candidates. And we don't know who's coming in fourth and fifth. Mm -hmm. I don't remember any time like this. Mike Huckabee had a three-point lead, but it was clear that he was surging. Santorum is still back. And back in uh, 2008, Barack Obama also was leading in the last poll. No one's leading this time. Okay, Frank, thank you very much for thank being you. here this morning. And we'll be right back.